You are watching the streaming TV guys with Vader and Jimmy C. I'm Vader. And I'm Jimmy C. And we're here to talk about the brand new Apple TV that just came out. We just got ours in the mail and we're super excited to show it to you. We're going to jump right in. What's in the box, Jimmy C? All right, let's see what's in the box. We've got... Got... Yo! Ding dong! Now we got an Apple TV. Nicely wrapped in some cellophane. And there it is. Impressive. And wait, we've got some sort of oh. electrical tape sort of coolness along the side. It's the Apple TV lingerie. <laughs> Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we've got our Apple TV. We've got <clears throat> the new remote everybody's been talking about. And this has some sort of remote condom attached to it. There we go. <laughs> Here are the streaming TV guys. We practice safe streaming. So Siri remote. All right. And then deep inside here, we've got the let's, let's get started guide. We've got a lightning to USB cable. And of course, over here on the side, we've got our power cord. So Vader, yeah, tell us about so size of the box. Well, this is interesting. So I have right here for comparison uh, the third generation Apple TV, which you can still get right now for a, a much reduced price. So if you're looking for an entry level. Apple TV. Take a look for the little guy, uh, which looks like a hockey puck. Uh, the new Apple TV looks more like a double stuffed Oreo. Uh, it's like twice as big. Uh, it's pretty thick. It's a little heavier too. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in there, but uh, I, I was kind of surprised milk. to see uh, how much bigger it was. But Jimmy C, tell us more about this little guy here. Uh, it looks a lot different than uh, the last generation um, remote. Yeah, very cool, very thin. Uh, the remote, Bluetooth 4.0 wireless technology, which means you don't need direct line of sight between the remote and the Apple TV. Um, also, accelerometer and gyroscope, which can be used to control games built for Apple TV. So uh, think Wii Remote and the swingy dingy dingy thing. Um, and um, But what about this back here with or am I going to lose this in the TV or what? Yeah. This will actually, um, sold separately, comes with a little loop, it's called, which clicks into the back. And that will be able to tether around your hand or wrist so you won't be able to throw this into your TV and break your TV. Nice. And the remote. So, uh, rechargeable battery... <clears throat> that they say will last for up to three months. No way. So that's wow. where you have this little charging cable and that's gonna go in the back where the loop will go when you're using it to play games. This will go in there when you're not playing games. At the top is a dual microphone for Siri and the glass touch surface that will allow users to swipe through Apple TV's interface or you'll use this to fast forward and rewind. Um, this is a very, very much talked about remote without the, you know, common remote buttons, which I like a lot. But let it be known that if you do drop this, it will break. You know, it's something you want to hold on to. There's a click functionality. It's really elegant. It's like, you know, that first iPhone that you got where you just want to hold it in your hands. Right. Um, but you don't want to step on it. No. <laughs> right. A little bit different. Uh, you know, we got the ports on the back. Uh, pretty standard stuff. You got your power. You got your HDMI, which is how you plug your uh, Apple TV into your television. And you've got Ethernet. So this is 
by default, this is Wi-Fi, right? And probably for the best experience to get your Apple TV away from your internet connection, which is probably in a closet or in your office somewhere. Uh, you really want to run Wi-Fi. But if you are lucky enough to have your, uh, you know, your router uh, right close to where your television is, you can plug in Ethernet you know, if you want to. And the other thing that is noticeably absent is the optical audio yeah. out, which the older one has. So if you're a home theater guy and you rely on that optical audio output, you're going to have to get creative uh, to use the new Apple TV with your home theater. Um, Tune in to see us on Streaming TV Guys on YouTube uh, and StreamingTVGuys.com. And don't forget to catch us on Twitter at Streaming TV Guys. Thanks a lot and happy streaming. Yeah.